10 most asked questions for construction project managers job interview questions and their answers the job of a project manager is one of the most rewarding one in the construction industry for cracking a project manager interview you need good technical knowledge a solid experience in the field as well as good soft skills to impress the interviewers here we will discuss 10 most frequently asked questions and their best possible answers to tackle the interviews of the top companies in the industry for a project manager position first question describe the steps of a project from initiation to completion that is the project life cycle if the interviewer is keen to check whether you have not forgotten the fundamental theories of project management they may ask this question the answer is a project has five stages starting from the initiation planning execution monitoring and control and closing as a project manager i would see and ensure that each of the above phases are properly planned and completed within the planned timeline question number two how do you handle delay in a project this is a tricky question the interviewer wants to see if you have the right attitude towards delay first of all mention that you will put all the efforts that the project is not delayed by planning properly and getting personally involved in the project notifying the management for resource availability on time and notifying the client regarding variations or added features further mention that if the delay happens in spite of your all-out efforts you will keep the proper record with you along with the impact ask the planning team to prepare an impacted schedule with the reasons of the delay plotted on the baseline program and notify the client for each delay events as per the norms mentioned in the contract question number three how do you handle the extra items extra items are works that are not included in the original payable items as per the contract while executing the contract you may encounter some unavoidable items due to change in the scenario or even maybe just as a result of missing out the same by the people who has framed the contract the answer should be somewhat like this as the project manager i will always have an eye on the executed items and ensure that no extra items are executed without proper approval of the client to ensure that the payments are received on time also i'll follow up with the client for necessary amendment to the contract and budget revisions at our end question number four how do you motivate your team this is a question to check if you are a good leader which is a very essential quality of a good project manager a true leader is a person who can motivate the team and get the work done by them ensuring high productivity meeting the timeline and the budget people work happily for these kind of people while the answer can be too long as there are many ways to motivate different kind of people at work and the number of books are written on this but you will not get that much of time to explain yourself inside the interview room put the simple things simple you can tell them that you will not just assign responsibilities to people and monitor rather you will tell them about the big picture and their role in it you will apprise people about the value they can add and recognize their contributions to give the deserved credit in short you will make your team members feel important question number five how do you tackle tough clients this is another hypothetical question but a favorite one for the HR interview to select a project manager this is a simple question of people management which you need to be good if you want to become a successful project manager as a representative of the contracting organization you have to pay the highest attention to the deliverables as per the contract how much tough the client be they will start to cooperate once they see their business goal is being met Additionally, while keeping a good terms with the client, you have to check always that the client doesn't get any undue advantage which is beyond the contractual terms. Question number six, what are the safety and quality standards followed by your current organization? This is a question to know whether you are conversant with the standards of your organization as well as of the industry. While answering, you should also mention the currently prevailing standards 
so that the interviewer can rate you as a person conversant with the happenings in the industry. Question number seven, how do you manage conflicts within the team? Again, a question to judge your team leading and people management skills. As a project manager, you will often find people in your team fighting with each other, small or big. As the leader, your job is to short things out. The answer should be somewhat like this. Once I see any conflict situation, I talk to the person and get to know both of their views. Understand the reasons of the disagreement and short the things out with my collaborative skills. Throughout the event, I'll make the team members understand that the project goal is of the topmost priority and everybody in the team must be a party to achieve the same. Based on the larger goal of the project only, the decisions will be taken. Question number eight, what kind of construction projects are you comfortable with? Now this is a strategic question with pseudo simplicity. This is to know whether you are flexible. Not really the interviewers are going to give you the options in case you are selected. Don't just fall for it. While you will mention the types of the projects you have already worked in, you should add that you are eager to work in other types of a project given there is a chance. You are a first learner and quick implementer. So it will not be a problem for you if you get the option to work in a project belong to the types you have not worked so far. Sound confident while you speak and don't just tell it for the sake of telling. Question number nine. How do you monitor progress of the project? It is always advisable that you do not name just a lot of reports while answering this. Put stress on the practical aspects and the details of the standard reports. A project manager should not much rely on the reports, but rather see things hands on. A sample answer could be, while I check the daily progress reports and cost reports, I personally check the physical work balance with respect to the timeline and the components physically having the work balance as on date. Similarly, I check the cash flow and correlate it with the profit and loss statements and the overheads where I can reduce further without hampering the project progress and quality of the work. Question number 10. What are the things in a project that you put the most of your efforts in the project? Many of the people even in the senior cadre still have a perception that the project manager's job is to steer the site for the entire day while doing so proves only the inability of the project manager. Your answer should be somewhat like this. I generally spend the first one or two hours of the day at the project site interacting with the execution team. The rest of my day includes in-depth planning, monitoring procurement activities, meeting with the subcontractors and suppliers, meeting with the client at least once a day, and monitoring the cash flow of the project. I also keep an eye on the contractual requisites as well as the mechanism of recording the delay, if any. If you have encountered other questions in your interviews for a project manager post, please let us know in the comment box. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more informative videos on contracts and project management. Thank you.